Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today is Sunday, right now it's 4 p.m. So it's still pretty early. I started working right around um, 9 or 10 a.m. And Celine, she is, she helps me package orders. And then we were here in the morning, we packaged a bunch of orders. That's one of the bags right there. Um, we cut some fabrics and then we built a foldable sewing table. Um, that's not a sewing table, sorry, a cutting table. So let me show you what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool. My bat spell, but this is the table. It's folded. It's so, so neat. It's perfect because I have a small apartment and cannot have a full size cutting table. So let me show you how it looks like. So this is what it looks like folded and it's all put in place as you can see it has like some legs that um, spread out and it's pretty big so I'm super happy I got it we were able to build it which is pretty awesome I was nervous that it was gonna be too heavy but it works out I need to figure out where to put it then after we're done using it so but yeah <laughs> you can see Andrea in the back um, I've been trying not to stress out because before I had new arrivals launch every week and it is doable it's just a lot so I've been trying not to stress out because I was supposed to launch them today at noon but I haven't had the chance to photograph them so I think I'm just gonna we're, we're doing some changes and I think it's gonna make the process so much better but I think I'm gonna be changing things up so right now I'm gonna be working on photographing some new bandanas that we will be launching. So I have the um, dog Julio. I have a popcorn one. This is such a fun print. Um, and once you reverse it, it's like movie ticket. Um, so we have that and then we have like a Cowboys Christmas one. This is actually flannel. Um, and you reverse it and it's got like a football print. Um, Henry. We're also going to be uploading new fabric face masks. We had this one before and it sold out so quickly. It's perfect for Dia de los Muertos. It's such a beautiful print. Um, so I'm actually going to start working on photographing them and uploading them on the website. So I'll show a little like sneak peek um, and behind the scenes of how, how we upload things into the website. All right, so this is what my setup looked like. I have my iPad over here because I'm doing some um, Skillshare courses. This is on Final Cut Pro and then I have my pile over there that I need to photograph and I'll be doing it on a white canvas. So we are set. We have new face masks available now on the website. Everything is on sale for $9. So we went ahead and uploaded them. We also have some new bandanas and everything got uploaded into the website. So we are done with uploading new arrivals. All right guys, so for this part of the video, I'm gonna share how we package orders. Um, this is something that we get asked super frequent. Um, so I wanted to share. Packaging is one of the most, I guess, important parts of the brand. Just because when you get home, we want you to enjoy like a happy mail, a happy package. So we m try to make sure to make it as cute and creative as possible. Um, so we put our bandanas and orders in different types of packaging. Um, if it's like one mask or one bandana just so it ships faster and to avoid less packaging we ship them in, in these like little mailers um, i'll leave the link down below where you can find them but you can find them on amazon you can get them in solid colors there's some that are in prints um, for like christmas we try to do like snowflakes or santas so this is a really good option in order with more than one bandana we need a little bit more room so we use these boxes so i know for example usps have um like their priority mail um, amazon also has them other like warehouses sell them so we have like the regular just white boxes um i'll leave the link i think i found some on amazon too but honestly you can just go to your local warehouses and they have them there um so we use that 
Now, what goes inside the box? So whenever you guys open your package, we want to make sure that it's fun and colorful. Or colorful. So we add in some tissue papers. This will protect the bandanas in any weather. Um, so we will wrap them in these um, uh, tissue paper. So I'll leave the link down below. You can find these in Amazon. You can find them at your local CVS, your party stores, um, any type. I know there's also some pop print ones. There's a bunch of other styles, but we try to use these colorful ones and then the pop print ones. So once we add the bandanas in and we put them in the package, we add little like marketing or promo cards. Um, and we wanna make them fun. Like we want them, I, I wouldn't like just someone getting a card and throwing them away. So I worked with um, Pri from The Homemade Edit and she helped me design them. So this is the first one. It says, I don't follow rules. I follow dogs on social media. And in the back is our story. Um, how we got started with the brand, how it all started in a picture of some of our models. We also have this one, but in the back is how we put our care card. We show, you know, how to take care of, um, take care of your items. So once we package them, we close the box and we want to make it fun and interactive. I personally don't want to spend money on, you know, a print on a bag or print on a box just yet. We're not there yet and I just feel like if people are gonna recycle them or throw them away, it's not something that I wanna invest in. So a good alternative is getting stickers. Um, so these stickers are big enough to close the box. So let me show you how it looks like on. Okay, so once we close the box, this is what it looks like. It says the dog got mail again with our Instagram down here. Um, I personally like this a lot because whenever you get it on your doorstep, you get super excited and it's really cute on Instagram. So these, you can honestly design them on Canva and then you can go ahead and print them on Vista. No, Vista Print. Um, it's a great tool for any um, businesses out there. So every bandana business is super different, but this is what works for, for me since I have a full-time job still um, while I'm also running the pet scout shop. So all of my bananas are already sewn, they're already made. Um, I don't like posting pictures of the fabric and then making them just because I don't have that much time and I want shipping time to be quicker. So all of my bananas are already sewn, they're over here, I have some more in the closet. Um, so when an order comes in, I can just pull, add a name if somebody requests a name, um, and I do the same with face masks there, back there. So then again, it's what works best for us. I know for other people and other brands, it works best they, that they put an order in and then they make the product, but for us, it's a little bit easier that way, and then that way I can get your order to you sooner. So these are just some cubes that I started placing the bandanas just because my closet ran out of space. Um, so these are already made that way whenever an order comes in I can just pull one from each box I try to organize it, you know by holiday or for example like Halloween back there um, And then some foodie and beverage ones So we will be packing this order. It's order 6212 uh, This order has just all bandanas, so we will be pulling it out that way you can see how we package it
that's what we do it's it's very simple and if you're a small business starting out I recommend starting simple and small um, I don't recommend like going all out and buying like these fancy boxes and packaging or these like printed envelopes I just feel like that's a big investment especially if you're starting off um, for me I ran pet scout for about a year and a half now and just like simple packaging with a few details here and there um, has worked best for us so maybe in the future we'll invest and get some boxes but in the meantime this is how this is what has worked best for us but I hope you guys liked how we package orders I honestly think that this is where you can put in you know your personality what your brand is just by these little touches that's either packaging stickers marketing cards and all of that it's like that your opportunity for um, to be creative guys look at Henry he's snoring he fell asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I wake you up? Hi. So he is now wearing a medium in his um, harness. He. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? You okay? So yeah, Henry has been growing like crazy. He is 14 weeks now. And he's about 24 pounds, so he is a big boy. He no longer wears a small in his harness, he now wears a medium. So I feel like he's going to have this crazy growth spur within the next month or two. So I'll try to film him, that way we can both watch him grow. But yeah, he will definitely be bigger than Mingo. Um, yeah, I think he's going to be about 70 to 80 pounds, so we'll see. Alright guys, I think that's it for today. I am going to get to cleaning the apartment. Everything is done today for work. Um, I'm about to edit this vlog. I'm thinking of doing uploads on Thursdays and Sundays. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any requests on what type of videos you'd like to see, let me know. But I'm just going to go ahead, clean up, and answer some DMs, and then edit the vlog. So thank you guys. Enjoy.